We owe all we have to you, you have our undying love, rest in peace. Pele's daughter, Kelly Nascimento wrote on Instagram. For the football world, December 29, 2022 is a sad day. The greatest, iconic, and well-known football star has passed away in Brazil, and the rest of the soccer world will miss him. Edson Aranches do Nascimento, popular known as Pele, who died on Thursday, December 29th, at the age of 82, was the absolute king of football. The chosen one, the special one, is a gift from God, one of the greatest players of all time. An emblem of the beautiful game from the golden age. His crown was unchallenged, not even by Cruyff, Platini, Maradona, Ronaldinho, Sedan, Messi, and Ronaldo. His treasured 1,283 goals scored in 1,366 games in his 20-year career, a record that is still unbroken and has continually defied modern football and its scientific methods since the 1970s. In the state of Sao Paulo, the city of Bauru, Pele began playing for the local Atletico Clube when he was 13 years old. He developed his skills by playing indoor football to improve his technique, a sport recently introduced in Brazil. Pele was born on October 23, 1940, in Tres Corsos, Minas Gerais, a community where the installation of electricity had drastically changed the life of its citizens. Thus, in honor of Thomas Edison, he was given the name Edson. His friends would make fun of him by referring to him as Pele, a distortion of Bile, the name of the goalkeeper for AC Bauru. According to Johann Cruyff's exact words, he was, above all, the only footballer who surpassed the boundaries of logic. Before becoming the greatest scorer, Pele was a player in the real sense of the word, a fun guy. He was thin but gifted with a miraculous technique with his two feet and the flexibility of martial art moves. Struggling to reach 1.7 meters in height but capable of gigantic vertical spring, he said in his autobiography, I frequently played as a goalkeeper, because whenever I started the game as a striker, we always won and the opposing team didn't want to play any longer. Football remained a sport where he could demonstrate his creativity and incredible nerve. Beginning with his first, Maracanã in Rio de Janeiro, he turned the largest stadiums in the world into immense playgrounds. When playing against him, defenders suddenly became clumsy, foolish, terrified, and frightened, which allowed the Brazilian quiff to make them seem ridiculous. A tribune was seen on the hill, a full, round moon rising high above. He let off a loud, crisp blast, up into the peaks that were touched by stars, and low to the moor in the snow-covered valley. Yes, the long thin silver notes did blow, where the cities were adorned with taper. Will there ever be another Pele? Football will forever remember him and his tales shall continuously be told, for he is the king of soccer. Rest in peace, legend.